Never have I ever seen a head bashing so brutal, yet so beautiful. Brawl on Cell Block 99. This is the second film directed by S. Craig Zeller. His first film was Bone Tomahawk, so you know what you're in for, kind of. Maybe not, actually. Let's find out. The plot. So, there's this guy. He, uh... His life sucks. <laughs> he just got fired from his job, found out his wife was cheating on him while at the same time not having a high-paying job, and he wants to start over. So, he starts working and smuggling drugs. Uh, his wife is still with him they're having a baby they have a nice house now but then there's a bust a bad drug deal that had gone terribly wrong to make matters worse now he's in prison and what's the first thing he gets he gets udo kier coming in telling him they have his wife and he had lost them 3.2 million dollars and the only way to repay that is to have him kill Someone for them on cell block 99. And if he does not comply, they will snip the limbs off his child's fetus in a way that'll keep the child still alive to term. That's messed up. So now he has to make his way down the chain to the bottom of the shit heap to cell block 99. It's dismal and depressing. And I love it. First thing, everything matters about these words that I'm about to say. Vince Vaughn is a fucking beast. Vince Vaughn plays a character who is constantly down on his luck. He's always sent back to the dirty life, no matter how hard he tries to escape. Jennifer Carpenter plays his wife, who is, as I said, pregnant, and isn't just a damsel. She'll pick up a weapon and shoot and possibly hit when need be. Udo Kier plays an awful, Sick and emotionless man. The worst combination. One that is so uncaring about your opinion or lives that could be at stake. Well, he really gets what he wants. The rest of the cast is stellar as well. There is not one bad nor weak performance. It's got pretty much the same pace as Bone Tomahawk. It has an equally brisk feel. Like he does something and he goes to the next thing and the next thing and the next thing and like 20 minutes pass by and you're like holy crap this movie's just moving right along like i said vince vaughn makes his way further and further and lower and lower down the system to complete his mission i haven't wanted a character to succeed as much as i wanted vince vaughn to succeed in a long time so much awful shit happens him from the very very beginning to the very, very end. There is pretty much no escape from his shitty life. The gore, the effects, holiest of holy shits. This film is brutal. I cannot stress enough how graphic the head bashing is in this film. There is not necessarily a ton of blood, but it's brutally violent and disturbing. You will see skulls and jaws come out. It's disturbing. The, the effects are highly realistic, about as much as Bone Tomahawk's effects were, which were high quality. The motion picture soundtrack, there is not much music, it's only there when necessary, like in Bone Tomahawk. There are some songs in the film that punctuate a driving scene, probably to put context to it or make it more entertaining. Like Bone Tomahawk, the director wants you to focus on the scene, and not how good the music is composed. At least, that's what I think he means. I loved Bone Tomahawk so much, but I think I like this film even more. It's just a better film and story. Even though both films don't have much story to begin with, it is seriously depressing. But that is something a lot of Hollywood movies are lacking these days. If you can stomach a depressing, disheartening story, 
with characters who just can't catch a break. Also with a healthy heaping of extreme violence, then check this fucker out for sure. Overall, I give Brawl on Cell Block 99 a 4.5 out of 5. Thank you all for watching, and Lion Brian Gatto, host of Horror Show Entertainment. Make sure to like my Twitter and Facebook fan pages in the description below. Leave comments and subscribe.